Stephen. Stephen Tomkinson is known to millions, of course he is, for shows like Ballycus Angel, Wild at Heart, DC Banks, I could go on and on. But two years ago, his career was effectively put on hold after he was wrongly accused of inflicting GBH on a drunk man outside his house. Last week, however, after a five-day trial, he was found not guilty and found not guilty so quickly. Joins me now, it is so good to see you. What an absolute nightmare. Yes. Oh, nightmare. Yes, a little bit. Absolutely, uh, Stephen, it's terrible. I mean, it's not so much for me because I, I knew I hadn't done anything wrong. Right. Um, yes, it was, it was about uh, five o'clock, half five on a Sunday morning at the end of May. Beautiful day. Mm. And these two chaps turned up, one just dressed in his underpants and socks, and his friend, who was also very dishevelled, uh, incredibly unsteady. They were the definition of drunk and disorderly. Right. Uh, several other people in the street had heard the commotion. Um, and they were swigging from a, a full-size bottle of Jägermeister, which you... You know, you, you don't find next to the sherry or, or the port. Yes, it's, uh, geez, you know, it's hardcore. mixed with lead, uh, Red Bull and oh one Lord. of those energy yeah, yeah, yeah. things. Um, so they were in a heck of a state. Um, it turns out that the chap was four times over the drink drive limit. Jeez. And so I, I, I called the police and I was worried this bottle was going to break in the area where. You know, the seven-year-old in the house plays well, on the skateboard course. and the bike. Yes. And so they didn't seem to be um, horrible in any way. Mm. They were they were just carrying on. Just making a noise. And We've stuff. all been drunk now and again. Yeah. Right. Um, so I just thought if I asked them to move on and showed them that I'd called the police, uh, but then they turned a bit nasty and turned on me and I stopped one of them with my open palm from mm. advancing any further. Because of the state he was in, he took a tumble and fell about eight feet away from me in that direction, smack in the back of his head and got a very serious brain injury, right. which, no joking matter, that mm -hmm. had to be investigated. Another neighbour had thought that... Uh, because, I mean, I had, I had the phone in this hand... Right. Um, ..and I had a dark blue dressing gown on. Right. So she she just thought she saw a clenched fist. She was quite she was she was quite 125 far away, right? feet away yeah. and on a first floor window, <clears throat> and kind of saw me as the aggressor, which right. which I wasn't. So it had to be investigated. I I thought myself it could have been investigated a lot sooner and mm. dealt with there and mm. then rather than wait two, two years, years. Stephen, two years with that hanging over you. Yeah. It's absolutely horrible, it's so stressful, and it has an impact, obviously, things go and hold work-wise. Sure. You know, it's difficult with relationships. I mean, I know you're lucky with your friend. She's fantastic. Jess was... She's been so good. Amazing. And, 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 yeah, so and, supportive. And, and, frankly, my problems went into a cock hat six weeks later when... Jess's parents, who were, were sitting in traffic in Durham, stationary traffic, there was a big queue. Uh, a lorry driver behind them, who uh, we then found out was sexting on oh, his phone God. on an adult dating hookup Jeez. site, didn't see the traffic had stopped and ploughed into them at 56 miles an hour, killing them instantly and oh, the driver of the car in front and injured people in, in other vehicles. Oh, that's horrendous. So, yeah. You have and, had and the she, worst time. She <laughs> had the, we, we were both doing um, educating retail. I remember, at yes, At the time, of and it had been stopped a couple of times because of COVID. And two days after that, Jess went, no, um, because Willie Russell's been involved in this, David Pugh, the producer, and all the people who couldn't get to see it first time. So she... She went into this incredible mode. I don't know how she did it. And just and, worked it and, through. Yeah, and a few weeks later attended the double funeral of a mum oh, and a stepdad and was then back on stage that night in Kingston on Thames. Wow. So if you ever needed an example of strength and a shining light, she has been that throughout. She has. And for looked you. after me through this. Um, and and I, I'll never be able on. to thank her enough. She she sounds amazing. It's she, very good to have a, a friend like that is. in your corner yeah. and showing an example. Now look, life goes on. Thank goodness. Well, yes. I after mean, after that, after that, a lovely, a lovely segue. Still about Jess about that. We're we're, we're into. 
the final week of rehearsals for this play and you, you get into the stage of, of doing a run of it for right. the first time and you think you've got all the words, so you've got that bit down. Okay. And then you add the props <laughs> and it all starts to go a bit And that's how it shape. feels like? So, so Jess uh, rang me on Tuesday night and said, how did your first run go? And I said it was a little bit stop-starty and I think I lost a bit of flow with the dialogue. She went, right, come on then. I said, what? So we'll, we'll do it now. We'll we'll just do. So, you just did it. So she was the other part, and let, and let me get a flow on that, which helped me the next day when we went in. And she's she's incredible. a diamond. Yeah. So this is stumped. Stumped. And this is a big deal because for so many on so many levels, because it's all about as well. I know how much the theatre that you're going to be in means to you. Yes, the, the and Amsterdam. you know it's had a lot of funding taken away, which is awful. Yeah. And yeah. you, you just feel very passionate about this. Well, thing. I do. It was it was the the Hampstead Theatre's opposite my old drama school, the Royal mm. Central School of Speech and Drama, and so it was it was a been a big part of my life for thirty odd years. Mm. In fact, the, the best night I ever had there was we we were given free tickets uh, to go and see Albert Finney. In oh, for orphans. goodness' sake! And and it was the night that Sean Penn and Madonna got turned away. <laughs> Full. We were all there with our free ticket. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's it's an amazing theatre. Got all its funding taken away, mm -hmm. and we had done a, a version of the play last year, which was going to be live streamed. Um, but unfortunately, Her Majesty passed away. Oh, so, right. So uh, everything made on hold. We, we, yeah, we, yeah, we couldn't do it with an audience. We filmed mm -hmm. a version of it, and then when we knew that the Hampstead needed as much boosting as they could get we uh that our writer shomit dutta um added has added a third act to it so right. it will be oh uh, it sounds amazing it sounds great and also for you you just want to get back to work Absolutely. you know we're going to see you in this we're going to see you in a, a brilliant drama the long shadow where you're playing a real life person this yes. is all about the yorkshire ripper yeah. and you're going to be playing the person that basically you know well, the, the pathologist professor it. yeah David G. so you're yeah. back Back. And you can put all this behind you. And yes, I have to say, you're absolutely. looking you're looking a lot better. I was a wee bit worried about you. Uh, yes, I'm, oh. I'm eating again. Good. Which is good. But I'm playing Samuel Beckett, who's such an iconic man. And, and Harold Pinter, the, these two Nobel Prize winning writers who also had a passion for cricket. And you, you get to be a, a fly on the wall. To hear them. Yeah. To hear their, just to hear their conversations. Exactly. What a well, treat. you're back to where you belong. That's oh, for so. sure. I'm just so sorry that you had... That ordeal and well, it, it had to be answered. So you know, I they, know, I know. But, but um, I mean, how long did it take them to throw it out? Less it? than an hour. Um, <sighs> so you, you know, you have you have to wonder, was it worth bringing in the first? But they were they were they were trying to prove a punch that never happened. There was no physical evidence on my hands yeah. on the guy's face. He was just incredibly drunk and he fell. Oh, gee, Stephen. Well, I'm glad it's over. Yes. You can put it in the past. Exactly. And you can just get on with it. And Stumped, it's in uh, from the 16th of June to the 22nd of July. Yes. We've... And, of course, it's at the Hampstead Theatre And, and before that, we've got a week in Bath and oh, a week in Cambridge. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. We'll stick all that on the website so Thank that people can find much. it. Stephen, it's lovely to see you. Oh, well, and I'm so glad everything's OK as it should be. Thank you, But Lauren. you shouldn't have had to go through it in the first place. Thank, Thank you. you.